Okay, so today's lesson is on the area of composite shapes. And composite shapes, or I guess you can call them complex shapes, are um, made of more than one basic shape. So what you're going to need to do to find the area of this complex shape is to break it up and find the areas of those uh, basic shapes separately and then add them together. So first, let's do a little review of what area formulas that we've seen so far. Um, for a rectangle, square, or parallelogram, you should remember that area we found was equal to the base times height. Base times height. For a triangle, its area equals base times height divided by 2, because a triangle is half of a rectangular square. And then for the circle, it was that the area of the circle is pi times the radius squared. Okay, so let's review from before. Let's use that information and figure out the area of this little house thing here. So we're told that from here to here is 30, the bottom part there is 60, and from the top to the bottom is 60. <coughs> Again, the drawing is not drawn to scale, obviously, but uh, let's go with the, with the numbers that I have there. So when you look at this, you should be able to see that we have a composite shape, and it's made of two basic shapes, a triangle and a rectangle. So again, the first step, what you should do is break up the shapes. So we have this triangle here plus this rectangle. To figure out what uh, the area is going to be, we're going to have to um, first figure out what the dimensions are. For this triangle, the base is 60. Because that's 60, that must be 60. So the base of the triangle is 60 centimeters. Now the height, we're not really actually given the height here, but if you we can figure it out, we're told that the whole height of the entire object is 60, and then from there to there is 30, so that must mean that this height is 30. 30 plus 30 is 60. So we know that the height of this triangle is 30 centimeters. The dimensions of the rectangle, we got this by this. So 60 centimeters will be the base, and the height is 30. Okay, so there's our basic shapes. So to find the area of this, we first should write down the formulas, because there's multiple shapes here. So again, FWA formula for the area of a triangle is, if you remember back, was base times height divided by 2. Uh, and then for a square rectangle, the formula is base times height. So let's plug some numbers in. Let's start doing the work. Area we don't know. The base of this triangle, 60. So we'll put a 60 here for the base. Height is 30, and we have to divide that by 2. Plus, again, I'm putting the, subbing in the uh, numbers directly underneath, even putting the plus sign directly underneath, so less chance of making mistakes this way. The base is 60, so base is 60 centimeters. The height is 30, 30 centimeter height, and that's that. Let's do some more calculations. Again, multiply this first. So the area then becomes 60 times 30, which is 1800 over 2. And here we just have 1800. And then the next step, 1800 divided by 2, which is 900 plus the 1800. And we are done the work, ready to punch it into the calculator to get the final answer. And the answer is 900 plus 1800 
2700 and the units are let's take a quick check it's centimeters it's area so area is always squared so there's your final answer for the area of the entire object moving on to the next one now this object here you can do two different ways um, <clears throat> you can break it up in two different ways let's take a look what we have here we have a bunch of rectangles one way that you could do it is take the area of the entire rectangle here and you notice that the, this section is chopped out so we could do the area of the whole thing minus this section here or um, what I see is that there are three rectangles one here an identical one over here and then one over here. I'm going to do it this way, but again, you could do it the first way that I just said, where you have the whole rectangle minus this little chunk here, or I guess you could even cut across this way. I'm going to go with this way. So, uh, again, breaking up the shapes, we've got our two, I guess, yellow rectangles. So we've got this, which is a yellow rectangle here, times two because there's two of them that one and that one, plus the blue rectangle here. Let's put the dimensions in for each. Okay, so for this rectangle, we need the base. Now when you look at this, what would the base be? We know that is the same as that, but we don't know what the number it is. Well, let's do some detective work here. If we know the entire distance across is 40, that means all this, including the gap, would be 40. We know this is 25. So of the 40, 25 is taken up here. 40 minus 25 is 15. So the leftover 15 meters has to be divided up into two equal sections. 15 divided by 2 would be 7.5. So that means this part here is 7.5. And because of that little dash there, that means this part is also 7.5 because that shows that they are the same uh, length. So we know that this is 7.5, and this distance here is the same as that, which is 35. So this first rectangle would be 7.5 of the base and a height of 35. The blue uh, rectangle has a base, which would be the same as this base here, of 25 meters, and the height we don't know here, but we can do a little bit of detective work. We know that this entire length is 35, this much of it is 20, so the leftover part must be 35 minus 20, 15. 15 meters over here. So now we've broken up the shapes and we can do our formula work answer. So our formula is area equals, so we're talking about a rectangle, so it's base times height, plus another rectangle, base times height. Our work, area we don't know, the base here is 7.5 and the height is 35. Now, let's not forget, we have to times this by 2 because there's two of those. There's the two yellow rectangles there, so we have to take in, into that into account. So, I should put times 2 here, and wh whatever answer we get, we'll times that by 2. We'll add that to the base of this, which is 25. The height, which is 15. Punch those numbers in, 7.5 times 35 times 2. Gives you 525. And 25 times 15 gives you 375. When you add those two together, You'll get your final answer, 
525 plus 375 is 900. Let's do a double check of the units. Um, they're meters and it's area, so it's going to be meters squared. Done. Okay. Next up, we have this. A shaded region question. Find the area of the shaded region. Remember from before, whenever I asked the, you to find the area of a shaded region, it's always a subtraction involved. So we have the full circle, and we have like a triangle that has, a, has cut out of the circle. So we're going to find the area of the full circle and subtract the area that was cut out, which was the triangle. So when we break up our shapes, it's going to be circle, not plus the triangle, but minus the triangle because it was cut out of the circle. We're trying to find the area of just the shaded yellow part. Okay, so our dimensions. Uh, let's start with the circle first. The circle, this distance here, is acting as the base of the triangle, but it's also acting as the diameter of the circle. So the diameter is 4. For the triangle, that diameter also serves as the base, so it's going to be 4 meters as the base. The height is 3 meters. So let's do this the formula. For the area of a circle is pi r squared, and for a triangle is base times height divided by 2. Okay. So plugging the numbers in to do the work, area is unknown, pi is 3.14. Now the radius is asking for, but we're given a diameter. So we should know that the di if the diameter is 4 to get the radius, it's no big deal. The radius is going to be half of that, 2. So we're going to use that 2 as the radius, not 4, because that's a diameter. So we'll put 2 in as the radius. and that 2 is being squared, minus the base, which is 4, the height, which is 3, and all that is divided by 2. Okay, so the next step. Again, remember with areas of circles, you do bed mass first, the exponents first, this, which is 2 squared, 2 times 2, which is 4, so it'll be 3.14 times 4. And then over here, 4 times 3, which is 12, divided by 2. Next step, pi times 4 is 12.56, and 12 divided by 2, which is 6. Okay, we're ready to figure out what the answer is. And the answer is, for the area, that minus that, is 6. Point five four, and actually sorry, six point five six. It's six point five six, but remember I asked you to always round to one decimal place or the nearest tenth. So actually, this is going to become six point. Six, and the units are. If you look back at the question, meters and it's squared. Okay, that's it. Thanks for watching, and uh, see you next time.